I hope we can. So, Pikachu, alright. 81. Man, that is monstrous, right? Uh, we gotta hope that he doesn't... Oh, a charm! Wow! I didn't, I didn't know that knew that. Oh, well. Earthquake, now! Do it! Show him the power of your terrifying terror, terror strike! Hope he doesn't use another charm. Thunder, okay. I'm kinda surprised that hit, actually. Thunder is notorious for missing... For me, Thunder is notorious for missing a lot. But no doubt, if he hadn't used that charm, Pikachu would have died that turn. So to honor the whole fighting thing, I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna leave it like this, you know, set battle style, rather than switching it up every few like, turns, you know. But if he sent out Venusaur, that means he's setting up for Sunny Day. Yeah, he's setting up for Sunny Day. That means next turn we can use Synthesis. <laughs> and really throw him for a loop. Go on, Wall of Terror. Show him what you're made of. That is not what you're made of, dude. That is so not what you're made of. Okay, he's going to hit with Solar Beam. That's going to do some... Yeah, that, that was pretty much massive damage. But then we're turning this whole sunny situation against him. Yeah. Oh, full of health. That is what I'm talking about. And we hit him again with another earthquake. But I think that Wall of Terror is gonna... No, no, he's not gonna die next turn. We hit it with earthquake, synthesis, earthquake, synthesis. And yeah, th this is how it's gonna roll. We can only do that for five more times, though. That's the unfortunate thing. Get with Solar Leaf, and that's gonna knock us way the hell back. Unless he gets a critical hit, and that would suck. <laughs> Red, I bet you're—I bet you're not liking that choice. It's taken you quite a while to take down this little terror thing. It, like quite a while. I hope that next turn. Uh, Sunny Day dies off, so that he's gonna have to take another turn to charge up that solar beam. Yes, perfect! He's gonna set up another Sunny Day, yeah! Oh, delicious! <laughs> While we're sitting here, Wall of Terror is just nipping away at its health, just nip, nip, nip. Kinda like what you do in Minecraft, you just kinda like nick away at it, until it finally breaks down. Like the, the crappy obsidian stuff. That just never dies. And it takes forever to uh, mine that shit. Wow, how much health does Synthesis restore in sunlight? Because in my experience, it, it was three fourths of your health that was recovered in sunlight. But apparently, according to this game, it's like full health. I can be like down to one HP and then poof, full health right there. Bam! Delicious! Wait a second. Does he have synthesis? I'm getting a little scared now. Ah, oh, shit. I used Earthquake, didn't I? Oh, but let's hope that next turn, synthesis fails. I mean, not synthesis. Sunny Day fails. Sunlight is strong. Shit. Um. Sorry, Wall of Terror, but you're, you're down. Oh god, but we re like if I didn't make that mistake, man, Wall of Terror might have actually taken it down. Like two more attacks left. Anyways, Morningcock, go. Some light faded. Perfect. Oh, he's faster than the Venusaur. Nice. Come on, baby, take him down. Take him down to the bar. Show him your disco stick. Okay, no doubt he's gonna send out Blastoise next. Espeon? Dude, what are you doing? You gotta send out your strongest Pokemon. 73. Ah, shit. Oh, God. Who's gonna have the speed advantage here? I don't know. 
But for certain, that Espeon's gonna kick my ass if I don't, like, hit it with power. So, wow, morning coffee, go! Beating Espeon in speed? Dude, that is immense. Oh, nice. Oh, he set up Reflect. That's gonna be unfortunate if we want to take out that Snorlax, because it has such high special defense. Ooh, come on, baby. Yeah, you go, my little Magmar. You wreck it. You wreck that Espeon asshole. Oh, but then he sends out Blastoise, and this is gonna be tough for him. Should we... Smoke screen? Nah. Let's just go for the attack. Hidden power. Show him your hidden powers. Hit it with electricity. Oh, and that did jack shit. That's probably gonna kill Morning Cat. Oh dear. No, 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 you can survive. I know you. Uh, come out. Oh, oh my god. Holy shit. I think I just peed a little. That was awesome! Just by like a sliver of health, that is great. Oh, and then you get a critical hit. Dude, you are just amazing. I wanna keep this battle as clean as possible, you know? I wanna switch out Pokemon like that. Every time he uh, sends out a new one. Cause I think that's just kinda lame. Whirlpool? God damn, you're faster! You're supposed to be fat and slow! Not speedier, ya bastard. Oh well, you just you just trapped me in a vortex. I got Thunder Punch, bitch. Oh yeah, you took it in your butthole. What's he gonna send out next? What's he gonna send out next? He's got two more Pokemon left. That's Snorlax and shit. No. Um shit, that Snorlax is gonna be really tough to take down, so. Preparing for this time, we use... Oh, you, just special defense? Okay, that's cool. Bro, I use toxic on your ass. You gonna die. That's what's gonna happen. But shit. Oh, we have to figure out a way to survive Snorlax's attacks. Because he also paralyzed us. Whew! Okay. Well, um... No, we can't, <laughs> we can't hit it with Thunder Wave now. Well, let's just see what we can do with this punch of Tunda. Come on, baby. Yeah. Hurt by poison. And then we hit it with some Thunder Pancho. And it does nothing. Oh, well. Um, hit it with another Thunder Pancho. So, okay. We probably want to hit it with a special, no, not a special, a uh, physical attack, so, oh god, my Pokemon, they're just, oh, we only have three left, guys, can we do this? Let's fly. We're faster, that's good. Okay, is that all it knows? I know it knows rest, too, and that might just get rid of that whole, like, you know, poison thing on it. I don't know if we can do anything to it. Oh no, but it's dead this turn. It's gotta be dead. If not, then fuck my life. Oh! Awesome! That's beautiful. So amazing. Okay, and Charizard comes out. We can just waterfall it to death. Why do you save Charizard for last, I wonder? Maybe that's why! Flamethrower! Razzle Frazzle! Just imagine how much more terrifying Red might be if he had Pokemon like Tyranitar and Dragonite and like, gosh, Tyranitar, Dragonite, Blissey, Raichu, just amazingly terrifying Pokemon that just could wreck your fucking ass. Oh, but now his Charizard's down. And that, my friends, was Red. The strongest trainer in the entire Kanto and Johto region.
got $77,000 and $7,700. And then he just leaves like that. And then the credits roll. Mmm. Yeah. You feeling it? That was Pokemon Silver, guys. Great, fantastic game that I've played in my childhood that I love. You know, I never actually beat Red for a while. Like, I played through the game and I got all the way up to uh, fighting Blue and everything. And then after that, I just kind of like quit. And was like, oh no, Red, way too tough for me. I can't touch that motherfucker. But there he is. Not as bad as, you know, I used to think he was. But then again, I'm more... I'm older, more grown up. And I have more brain power, you know? So... I guess taking him on wasn't that much of a challenge. Really? Oh gosh. But those guys, though my Pokemon, they they did it. They worked hard. And they kicked butt. We only lost three. We only lost three in that battle. Ah. Oh. But after this, it's back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Yeah. It's one of the games that I have not finished yet, so. That's what I'm going to work on now. So I don't- I- no, there's nothing else left after Silver when you beat it. Nothing else. After, uh, Red's dead, there- all you can- all you can do is just capture all the Pokémon, train your Pokémon up to level 100, and there's nothing, nothing to do. And even then, that's, like, gonna be impossible, because you have to go against Elite Four a million times to do that. Do Beautiful! Oh. Oh, baby. Oh. Alright, guys. I'll see ya on the next walkthrough. Bye!